Hi, my name is Julia Sherwin, and my project is about the difference between monocots and dicots. These two terms describe a way of categorizing flowering plants by features such as their seeds, leaves, stems, and petals. The differences in the categorization of plants were not always known. For many years, there was no clear way to categorize these plants. However, in the late 1600s, scientist John Ray in England developed the cl this classification based on his research on the structure of seeds. This seed is quite different from the seed. What a revelation! book, Methodus Plantarum Nova, is still used today as the basis for flowering plant categorization and is one of the reasons that he is known in England as the father of natural history. The number of cotyledons found in the embryo is the actual basis for distinguishing the two classes of flowering plants. The cotyledons are the seed leaves produced by the embryo. They serve to absorb nutrients packaged in the seed until the seedling is able to produce its first two leaves and begin photosynthesis. Here is an example of a seed of a monocot. As you can see, it only has one cotyledon. Compare the monocot to the seed from a dicot, which has two cotyledons. This is the primary distinction between the two plant categories. Knowing multiplication helps you identify monocots and dicots. For example, if you count the number of petals, stamens, or other floral parts, you will find that the monocot flowers tend to have a number of parts that is divisible by three, usually three or six. Dicot flowers usually have parts in multiples of four or five. However, with dicots, this is not always true. You can usually tell the difference between the two types by looking at the leaves. In monocots, there are usually a number of major leaf veins which run parallel the length of the leaf. In dicots, there are usually numerous auxiliary veins which articulate between the major ones. However, in a few cases, this is not true. You can tell the difference by looking inside the stems. Vascular tissue bundled together provides long-distance transport and structural support. Vascular bundles are present throughout the monocot stem, although concentrated towards the outside. This differs from the dicot stem that has a ring of vascular bundles and often none in the center. You can tell the difference between the two types by looking at the roots. Monocots have short fibrous roots that stay close to the surface. Dicots have a long, central taproot that goes deep into the ground. Dicots may also have other roots, too, surrounding the taproot. Thank you for watching my video. Next time you walk through a cornfield, you will know you're surrounded by monocots. Likewise, when you plant peas this spring, you will know that they are dicots.